Hey guys, it's Eileen from Basic Blog Tips. And one day this past week, I attended a live workshop at AWeber. And I promised to come back and share some of the things that I learned at that live workshop. So here are three things that I learned at the AWeber live workshop. Okay, the first thing we want to do is find out who has been opening or not opening our emails. There's several ways you can do this, but one that I found a little challenging was for the follow-up emails. Now, for the follow-up emails, what you wanna do, come over to Manage Subscribers on your Subscribers tab. You know, there's this pull-down menu, you can look up a lot of things on here. But what we're going to do is look up message not opened. Then you click in this box here and it gives you these options. You can either look at each one of your broadcasts or you can look at your follow-ups. So you can go through here and see particularly that very first follow-up message. You may want to make sure that everybody who didn't open that follow-up message gets it a second time. So you would go in here, click that on. Now I'm very sensitive about people's privacy. So if I click this on, it's going to bring up a list of people's emails. So I'm not going to click it. But when you click that on, you would create a new uh, segment. Uh, you can name it, you know, people that didn't open the first follow up and then send them that follow up again. Make sure they got your freebie or whatever it was you were offering in that first email. Moving on to our second tip, and that has to do with creating a split test. Now, in order to split test a message, you want to create the same message, but you want to vary something. Like perhaps you're going to put a buy now button on one of them, but you're just going to use a buy now link on the other. Perhaps you're going to have a different headline. So that's what split testing is. And AWeber will randomly split out your list. If you're going to have two messages, it'll just randomly send half of them the one message and half of them the other. But I always wondered how do I create a split test and I thought it was going to be confusing. It's not. As long as you have 100 subscribers on your list, you're over here in the broadcast where it says create a broadcast. But before you do that, scroll down to the bottom and you're going to say split test broadcast. Now you're able to do up to four split tests, but since we're due at doing this, we're only going to do two. So we're going to do half and half. Okay. If you wanted to do four different versions of the same email, you would just do 25, 25, 25 or, or whatever percentages, as long as it equals a hundred percent. And then that's when you go and you create your split test. And you go ahead and edit each message separately. Now this last step, I'm going to show you how to create a template. And since we're not designers or anything like that, I think the easiest way to create a template is from an existing message. So what you want to do is go to your broadcast and see which ones did well. Okay. You can look at percentage of opens or number of opens. So let's just go scroll down and see which one of our messages had the highest open. So here's one right here. Okay. We're going to look at that message. We don't really want to copy this message. What we want to do is take that layout of that message and create a template. So let's click copy click templates and if you want to keep the message content you will leave that checked 
but in our example, we're not going to leave it checked. We're going to give this template a name and we'll just call it Google Strikes and save it as a template. That's it. That's how you create a template in Aweber. So there you have it. That's just three of the things that I learned at the Aweber 201 Live Workshop. Jay Moore, he's known as the voice of Aweber. He's a fabulous teacher. So if you're ever in the area and you get a chance to attend one of their meetups, make sure you go Aweber is the way to go for bloggers who want to build their email list and gain a loyal following. So I'll talk to you soon. Once again, it's Eileen from Basic Blog Tips. If you learned anything from this video today, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment so we can discuss it over on Google+. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.